Hello and welcome. This is Kevin Nelson known as AWOL. And today I'm putting together this two color bracelet. It is from pattern 8730, which I modded to make it twice the original size. Um, but I think in some ways it kind of made it different. I don't, not really sure. I think, well, yeah, if I had done it with a normal duplicate, like the the sizing it out, the the little edge ones would have been like next to each other instead of spaced out the way it is. So yeah, it would have definitely, if I just did it the normal way, it would have definitely been very, very different. This turned out though, however, to be one of the easiest bracelets to put together. It was so amazing just how easy and fast it, it goes together. It took me a, a moment when I started to try to figure out how to best um, segment knot it so that way it would just come out better. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if I captured how I ended up doing it towards the end because towards the end I really got into a rhythm and that's basically why this one actually took me less than an hour to make, which is really great for a 12 string bracelet. Um, so yeah, what kind of when I see like the the change up, I'll show you that part as well. But yeah, this is this is seriously be some beginner stuff. You only have to know how to tie knots to either go to the right or to the left, and it's it's pretty simple. It, it really is like especially especially after you kind of get used to it. I mean, I think that's kind of true with all bracelets. But there is this nice, nice long straight row that goes in. That's what this is now. And then it kind of makes these little boxes coming across, which, like I said, it, it took me a second to try to figure out like what would make the most sense for this. Um, and as long as you kind of stay consistent with like the direction you're doing with the knots, it probably doesn't matter which method you choose because it all kind of comes out the same. Um, but I think the way that, so like here, I tried to work it out, like do like two thirds of the box. So that way I would have like the slightly longer thing. Um, I don't think that that was necessarily the fastest way, but yeah. Um, yeah, I changed I change up a little bit later on. But still, it only took me an hour. Um, the only reason why this video doesn't seem to be going at our normal speed is the last 20 minutes, um, I had hit record. Well, I thought I did. Um, I hit the timer, which keeps track of like how long um, I'm recording for, but somehow the, the record thing didn't happen. So there's a good portion towards the end of this that so gets lost. So. I'm sorry about that. I, I did. I didn't mean for it to be missing. And this it happens periodically. But this one, I, I lost a good chunk of it. So sorry. Um, so yeah, doing this where I like do these in just straight rows kind of seems like it was a little bit faster as opposed to trying to do a couple and, and changing up the directions. It was it's almost faster to do it just coming along straight. Um, which is not really segmenting per se, but yeah, it's just the way that this pattern repeats. It's just really easy to do the a diagonal thing to it. Um, just kind of realizing like, yeah, that's that's really not segmenting at all. Um, but yeah, it just it just goes a lot faster this one the, for this particular pattern, at least. Um, and it's really cute. I really the, I, I'm holding the bracelet here. It's really a cool pattern. It's it's almost if it would have been a little bit more random, it would be like a, a leopard design, but it's it's too regiment for that. There's just, it's just every it's like perfectly spaced or whatever. But yeah, it's a cool bracelet. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you're looking to kind of 
do something easy or maybe you're you're new to bracelets and you're going through my my easy playlist um yeah this one really really is nice and simple and yeah i did try to kind of segment it out in the earlier part you know trying to find a, a way to make this at all easy if i could um oh it does not use the strings too unevenly so i did not run into any instance where i thought that anything was going to get used up more than the, the rust mind you i kind of kept everything sort of going to the right when possible so strings were getting exchanged if you were to change directions of the strings you could potentially use up something more than others but it's as long as you kind of keep going methodically one direction along yeah that won't be a problem for you um I'm trying to think if there's anything else i really learned it's it's just so darn easy and it's really fast um and i can't even speak to as to why it's so fast I, it just kind of is um oh this was not recorded uh, while I was making it was not recorded while uh, re like on the when I'm doing like the live stream stuff for like uh, YouTube today is technically my day off but I did have discord open so any of the members or anybody could have joined in in fact they kind of technically still could um, which I guess I should actually stop that hang on there we go yeah, I just realized that was a potential we could have had. We could have had a special guest star or something. But um, yeah, speaking of, um, let me thank my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members who make this stuff possible. Um, without their support, I wouldn't have the string to make all these things. And uh, that would be a shame because I really do enjoy it. So thank you guys. And um, yeah, if you want to pay added to the list, all you gotta do, Patreon or YouTube member and uh, I will add you on there. Um, yeah, so doing the like the two at a time, I kind of did that for a while. Oh, uh, here I tried to do where I tried to do the three so that way I could make a longer uh, light row here. And I don't think that that necessarily sped anything up at all. It was that would be worth a shot, but it's not any necessarily more effective mind you the whole thing all in it didn't it wasn't like i was slow and then i got really fast at the end uh, any any of these methods are absolutely suited to actually do it quickly um i just found it easier towards the end how i did it but uh yeah oh and it is like I said, uh, it's a two color pattern where uh, you have an equal number of each strings. So if you cut your strings in thirds the way I do, you just need two skeins of each of the colors. So that was kind of convenient. I kind of like that. Because um, we've had some that were like off balance the last couple ones. So we end up having to have like three skeins of one color, which um, you might not have. I mean, I have a lot of string and uh, I could probably run out of, of cases where I have three of one particular color, just kind of how it works. I mean, I don't know. It just groups go by faster. So it is the way it is. Um, oh yeah, there's some pauses in here. Probably me just switching to the next video or whatever I did. I, I do take the, the opportunity of making bracelets to actually watch uh, videos and stuff because most of the time, a lot of the recordings, a lot of the other stuff that I do, um, I don't get to watch a whole lot of anything. So uh, yeah, I was watching some stuff. So if you see the pauses where I'm not tying a knot, yeah, that's probably all I was doing. Oh, so here's... Here's what I was talking about. Like towards the end, I just started doing like a row at a time and it seemed to go really kind of quickly because the, the row after this, so this row has like 
a single, three, a single, three, a single. And then this one, everything just comes up, out one knot. And then the next one is three, a single, three, a single. So yeah, it just goes really quick that way. Um, normally, I don't recommend doing this style of knotting. It doesn't, the, I, I found out that there are people who are doing like big bracelets that, you know, and they're just doing it one row at a time as they come down. And normally I would say like really segmented knotting will go a lot faster and a lot easier. But in this case, um, it really, this other method works out really, really, really well. I mean, you know, so I can't, I don't know. I, I, mean, I never thought there'd be an instance where I would suggest this method over another, but it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I am in the video because this is going to end way more abruptly than I'm used to because of the fact that like normally I can, I can kind of tell like how far along we are. Um, for one, the pattern does not lend itself to me being able to see how far along we are. And two, um, like I said, the last segment is missing. So uh, we got what? Yeah, a little less than four minutes left. Um, yeah, this is this is fun to me, in because of the fact that it is so different than what the original pattern was. Um, there is a possibility that a pattern exists that already looks exactly like this. Um, I wasn't aware of it. I didn't, you know, I just took a pattern and changed it on my own to something new. And the, having the ability to do that, I think is something special. I think that there is something fun in coming up with your own design. And yes, there is every possible thing out there that somebody's gonna be like, oh, this is pattern number, whatever it is. But for me, this was something inspired by 8730 and that's it that's it was just something that kind of came about with uh what would happen if we changed it and uh i i definitely like it i think it's i think that's a lot of fun and it's a good possibility that yes this might be a pattern but if you apply the same principles of what i did to the pattern and yet uh, go back and watch yesterday's video and just see how I put it together. There's a good chance that you can apply that to something else that's and end up with something that's never been done before. And if that works out for you, I think that's great. I think that's, you know, that's the, the greatest goal that I could have is to teach you how to come up with something new and different. And um, yeah, that's my hopes. That's my goal. So, um, we got less than two minutes. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, yeah, um, leave it down in the comments or you can hit me up over on Discord. Um, like I said, I was, while making this, I had the, the mic open to uh, let anybody come in and, and uh, ask away, so. I have to admit, there's a lot of times I open up the mic and make myself available, but uh, nobody shows up. But that's okay, too. I mean, um, you know, I don't need people to uh, every day hound me for stuff. So but if you guys come up with something, I would like to help. Um, got like a minute left. I'm not even sure what to, to tell you anymore. Um... Oh yeah, you can also check out my works over on Instagram. There's a lot of stuff over there. Or go to my website. You can, there's tons of tutorials you guys can check out. You can even search by patterns that you think look interesting or stuff like that. So yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much of this left. Yeah, well, thank you for hanging out with me though. If you made it this far in the video, I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, if you could, 
hit like, you know, and if you haven't already hit subscribe, I do a lot of these videos um, like every week. So, all right. Thanks a lot. And uh, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.